Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 23 video. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the New Orleans Saints, but with the new addition of Kareem Hunt. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I'm going to be dogged on and everyone's going to be like, oh, Kareem Hunt actually didn't officially sign there. Yeah, I think Anthony Barr did, but apparently he didn't pass his physical, so he's not going to the Saints. But let's just say this is a what if. I just spent a whole hour and a half recording this. Please like and or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, apart from that, let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. Yeah, 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 I know. He didn't get officially signed there. I wanted to make the video because it was most likely going to happen, but then the physical didn't really go through. So anyways, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Alvin Kamara is suspended for the first three games of the year for assaults. I don't know how gambling gets you a one-year suspension, but assault gets you a three-game suspension. And it's like he gambled on himself too like calvin ridley literally gambled that he would make a certain amount of yardage and he lost the gamble he like he lost his bet anyway so i don't see why he gets a year's worth of suspension while camara gets a whole three games for assault but yeah okay um anyways kareem hunt is going to be the starter for the first three weeks i'm just going to simulate to the midseason mark and we're just going to say kareem hunt is just going to be here for now and they also have jamal williams this is going to be one quite a good rushing attack, I would say. Derek Carr, in practice, in training camp, they said it'd be, he's been missing throws, but Chris Olave has been the one just to be there and catch it anyway. So it doesn't matter how bad the throw is, Chris Olave is going to do it. I think Chris Olave is going to go crazy this year. So here's the thing with Derek Carr. In real life, he got a three-year contract. This is Madden. I have four years to rebuild the team. Derek Carr is already 31. He's going to regress in Madden. I won't have a place for him on the team. So in Madden, he's not useful to me. In real life, sure, you could say he's useful. I don't think he's going to be a full three years worth of his extent useful. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to replace Derek Carr is the point that I'm getting at here. Next, Taysom Hill has a stupid cap hit. Like he plays every position. I get that. But $14 million a year for a third string quarterback. That's not going to cut it for me in Madden. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut Taysom Hill. I'm going to take his contract. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't care if I'm biting the bullet and taking $16 million in dead cap here. I'm biting the bullet on that. I'm not going to pay him for the next four years. I'm just going to have to deal with it for the first year. I'm not going to pay Taysom Hill that much money to be a, second, to be a third string quarterback. Chris Olave is going to be the starter. Kareem Hunt is going to be the starter until the midseason mark. Shahid, I think, is one of the most underrated receivers in the NFL. Nobody talks about Shahid enough. I want him to be in the slot. I guess I'm not allowed to have him in the slot, which is unfortunate. Kind of want Brian Edwards to be there too, but it's fine. We'll keep Trick One Smith in the slot. Jimmy Graham is now here as well. I had to import him because they didn't have him in the game. So I imported him on my updated rosters. I make them personally. This up, this offensive line is great. Trey Turner actually tore his ACL and I think he's out for the year. If I believe I'm correct on that, I think Trey Turner is out for the year. Andreas Pete, I do want off my team as well. Like this is a terrible contract. I don't want, I always cut Andreas Pete and Taysom Hill because the Saints hand out terrible contracts here. Giving Derek Carr, I think you should have gave Derek Carr like a one-year deal, honestly. I don't think he should have gotten three years. Trade away. I'm trading away Andreas Pete for like a seventh round pick. If anyone has interest in this dude and is willing to keep, take his cap hit, nobody really. Maybe the Bengals will have some type of interest. Yeah, you'll t have an interest. Give me your next year's sixth round pick for Andreas Pete and get his cap hit off my team. There, Andrews P for a next year's sixth round pick. Yeah, Trey Turner is out for the year, so I am going to bench him for now. I'm pretty sure he is if I'm wrong about that. Sorry. <laughs> and this is what we got for the defense. They also signed Anthony Barr as well, which is very good at pending their physicals. Brian Brzee, Isaiah Folkski were both great pickups. They gave Cam Jordan, I believe, a two-year deal in real life. Bradley Roby's getting pretty old. Paulson Adebo, Alante Taylor, Marshawn Lattimore, obviously one of the better DBs in the NFL. I think Tyron Matthew should be more like an 87. He's definitely taken a step back, but he's definitely still good as well. Pete Warner, Demario Davis, Anthony Barr. Like this is a very old defense. Tyron Matthew, Demario Davis, Anthony Barr, Marcus May, Cam Jordan, Bradley Roby. Like this is an old defense, but it does have youthful parts with Pete Warner, Brian Brzee, Isaiah Folkski, and Marshawn Ladmore. So there definitely is upside to this team. I think Kareem Hunt was a good signing. I think Jamal Williams would have done just fine for a couple games. But for now, let's simulate to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-2, second in the division. Very good offensive passing game. Rushing game is doing solid as well. I'm going to 
put Kamara as the starter now, now that his three game suspension is done. I know it's week eight, but who cares? I'm not going to simulate three individual games just to start him. We're five and two. We're clearly doing fine. Second division, Panthers are undefeated. Bryce Young goes crazy in simulation, keeping the auto generated draft class, and there is a top QB on the board, which is what I like to see, but probably won't get him considering we're already five and two. Derek Carr proving that he shouldn't be traded or even be moved on from four passing touchdowns. Great game for him, almost 300 passing yards as well. I think Mac Jones was the AFC player of the week, which is crazy. Breakout QB here, I mean, you, we were playing the Cardinals, so I don't really know if it's going to be a breakout QB if the, or if the other team was just terrible. But Derek Carr could get superstar development in this week against the Raiders. Their team is terrible too. Scouting national focus, do I do quarterback? I mean, I could do QB. I think, I mean, it's not a strength of the class though, and we will be picking pretty late. I'm going to do defensive back for right now because Bradley Roby is going to move on. Maybe Elante Taylor gets a start of. That would be very, very helpful. Players ready to negotiate. Michael Thomas, if he doesn't want to be here, I'm not going to hold him here. He team doesn't have a franchise QB. I guess Derek Carr isn't considered a franchise QB and we're negative 25 million. So we're going to be losing all these players anyways because of all the cuts that I made too, which is going to be, help us in the long term for sure. But anyways, apart from that, we can't resign anyone. Let's move in to the next week to see if we can beat the Las Vegas Raiders and get this breakout quarterback challenge. It would be nice if Derek Carr got a superstar dev. We are coming off a loss, so we're definitely not getting it now, uh, which really, really sucks. But we're going to see what we got for the overall no no dev upgrade i was just making sure but anyways apart from that let's move in to the playoff and we go from five and two to seven and ten <laughs> switching from alvin Kamara, i guess our no our passing game is what fell off our passing game was ranked seventh so switching from our power back in kareem hunt to our receiving back which would in theory make our offense better because he's a receiving back and it would incorporate better i guess alvin Kamara would just assault his teammates or something what what happened bro our passing game just fell off the face of the earth like we lost the raiders we went five and two to seven and ten yeah Derek carr is probably gonna get off the team 31st best offense is unacceptable six best defense four thousand yards 35 touchdowns nine interceptions not a bad season honestly 95 pass rating it's not bad, but why were we the, went from the seventh best passing offense to 27th? And then Kamara started the other half of the season. Honestly, Kareem Hunt looked better. 4.5 per carry, nine touchdowns, had less attempts. Yeah, honestly, Kareem Hunt just looks better. Receiving wise, Michael Thomas, 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns. Chris Olave, six touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards. Traquan Smith, 909 and eight touchdowns. Maybe I trade away Alvin Kamara. Then Demario Davis, 126 tackles, tackles for loss, 14 for Cam Jordan, sacks, 17 and a half for Cameron Jordan, six and a half for Brian Brzee, 12 and a half, 12, 12 tackles for a loss for Brian Brzee, not 12 and a half. I was about to say 12 and a half. Three interceptions for Pete Warner and Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, safeties on the team is zero defensive touchdowns is one for Mar Sean Lattimore and Marcus May. Where's the pass deflections? Deflections, seven for Demario Davis, six for a Sonic Yadam, I think is how you pronounce that, but I'm probably going to trade away Alvin Kamara now that we have Kareem Hunt and Jamal Williams, but let's move into the offseason. And the Lions beat the Raiders in the Super Bowl. What a Super Bowl that would be. I don't think anyone would think the Lions versus the Raiders, especially the Raiders, are not making it to the Super Bowl. Cameron Sutton wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP. And uh, no awards here for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Derek Carr didn't have a bad season, but we had one of the worst passing attacks in the NFL, which I'm really confused about because we were good in the first half and he's already regressing. He's already down from a 77 to a 74 without the morale boost. He's regressed 13 skill points. Yeah, I can't I can't do anything about that. And it looks like the AI cut Jamal Williams. That's super, super annoying. That's really, really bad. Okay. Isaiah Folkski has star dev. Of course, Pete Warner gets star dev. Anyone else here? Alante Taylor didn't get star dev. Bradley Roby has regressed into the dirt. Yeah, we're gonna need to do a lot of fixing on this team. Let's move into the re-signings. In the NFC South, nobody retires. We don't have any money. We're in the negatives. We're, we're just going to see who we're losing out on here for the players ready to negotiate as Michael Thomas, Blake Gilligan, Shahid, I kind of wanted. Brian Edwards wouldn't be bad either since he's young and has star dev. But 
Can't re-sign any of them. Negative 16 million. I'm fine with that though. We're looking to improve by the next season. So let's move in to the draft. At pick number 10, there are no good quarterbacks. So I am just going to go with a defensive back here. Jamichael Autry out of Alabama. Six foot, 202, 94 speed, 91 acceleration. Hidden development, B tackle, B zone coverage, B press. He looks solid. In the second round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Joseph Bigsby because, again, the quarterback class isn't that strong. 86 strength, very athletic, almost 300 pounds and 81 speed and 85 acceleration is crazy for someone of his size. Six foot three, hidden development, A finesse moves, B tackle, B awareness. In the third round, I'm picking up quarterback Tory McCormick out of North Dakota State. It's like Kenny McCormick from South Park. Six foot two, 223, 88 throw power, 79 speed, 85 acceleration. 88 throw power isn't the best, but A throw under pressure, he's got solid skills across the board. His awareness is kind of low, which may mean a low overall, but for a third round pick, it's not bad. So this is the team moving into the next season. Honestly, Derek Carr had a pretty solid season last year. It definitely wasn't bad. I'm going to keep him as the starter for now. McCormick is a 65 overall. I'm going to trade Alvin Kamara, Kamara, whatever you want to say. He's 28 years old, so I don't think I'm definitely not going to get a first round pick for him. The Bills want him. If the Bills want him, I think a next year second would be fair, especially with how high ranking their team is. Actually, uh, they're going to be a gr really good team. They're projected to be at least in the NFC Championship, AFC Championship, I mean. So uh, this year's second round pick, and I think giving back like a fifth would be fair in my opinion. So I'm going to do that. Avin Kamara and a fifth round pick for the Bills' second round pick this year. No one's willing to give up a first round pick for an aging running back. Kareem Hunt is going to be the starter here. Traquan Smith is going to be the second string wide receiver, which is honestly kind of crummy. A.T. Perry is not good enough to really start. Bigsby's a 75 overall. Looks like the AI picked up this guy named Parker Richard, right end. He looks cool. He's probably going to replace uh, Cameron Jordan. He's 64, so I highly doubt he'll even make it to the overall to even necessarily replace Cameron Jordan, but he has a development, so I am going to move him to left end. Autry is a 76 overall, so that was a really good pick. 76 is actually a very good overall for a rookie, so I like that. Everything else looks set. We should be good. Humphreys I picked up in the fourth round. Yeah, I like everything that we got. Happy with it. Bigsby, I want to be the rush defensive tackle so he can get possibly rookie of the year. I want Isaiah Folkski starting over Peyton Turner. I rush right in. Of course, the AI never recognizes that, you know, of course, Peyton Folkski is definitely the better player here. Bigsby will hopefully be very, very good. I'm going to put Folkski at the defensive end position here for rush right end over Peyton Turner. Peyton Turner's a bust. Let's just be real here. I don't care if you use the first round pick on him. Everyone, whenever Peyton Turner was picked, everyone was like, why? <laughs> but anyways, Isaiah Folkski is going to be the rush right end. And apart from that, hopefully we do good and see if Derek Carr has what it takes once again to move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark because we are three and four, third in the division. Eh, he's not doing good, but he's not doing bad. That's the team ranks. Passing touchdowns is getting in there, rushing touchdowns. So it looks like he's just feeding off of the red zone. Interesting for the ranks. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, let's see his uh, stats compared to the rest of the league. He is 16th, 10th, and 13th. Okay, 108 pass rating. I'm not going to bench him for sure. He's doing good. Good enough to keep starting. Another breakout quarterback challenge for him as well. He won a weekly award. Hopefully he can get superstar this time. I highly doubt he's going to get it. And also if he does, it won't really matter. He's going to keep regressing. We just beat the Buccaneers. We're going to play the Panthers. Then we're going to play the Buccaneers right again. That's uh, very interesting. But let's see what we got here for uh, the team re-signings. Will Lutz, honestly, sure, I'll just keep you for the remainder of the rebuild. Why not? Traquan Smith, I just don't want. Caesar Ruse, I'll just pay you a lot of money. I need you on the team. He re-signs. Juwan Johnson... No. Anyone else here that actually, like, I don't need James Hurst. I don't need any of these other guys. Yeah, I'm just going to let those other guys go. We're going to see what we got against the Carolina Panthers. Hopefully win this game. It would be very important to us, especially to Derek Carr's development. So if we could, that would be huge. And we lose. I'm not even going to look at the breakout challenge. We didn't get it. We're three and five now. Our defense really isn't doing that good either, but let's move into the playoffs. And here we are finishing nine and eight. The offensive passing game once again fell off. I'm not giving Derek Carr another chance. He plays, he stat pads really nicely in the first half. Again, it's not a bad season. It's just not good enough. 22nd best offense, 6th best defense. It's not a bad season again. 
It's definitely a solid season. I, I, he's not putting up the passing stats to get the job done. He's aging. I have to move on. He, it's, it's definitely good stats for sure. It's solid stats. It's just not enough. Kareem Hunt, 1,200 passing yards, 4 point, I mean 1,200 rushing yards, 4.6 per carry, 18 touchdowns is great. Trey Quan Smith, 1,400 yards, 106 receptions, 15 touchdowns. That's actually a really good season, but he's already 28. He's going to get started out, though. Chris Olave, five touchdowns, 1,100 yards. Defensively, Demario Davids, 1,500 yards. Not 1,500 yards, one, 115 tackles. God, I just... I don't know what I'm doing today, but anyways, let's see what we got. Tackles for a loss, Brian Brzee, 17, sacks, 10 and a half for Isaiah Fokuski, 10 for Cameron Jordan, Fokuski with a breakout year, Pete Warner with three interceptions, safety, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. But anyways, I got to move on from Derek Carr. He's having good seasons. He's just not getting enough to win us games. So let's move into the off season. And Alvin Kamara loses in the Super Bowl to the New York Giants, Chad the new um, Giants QB, Chad Lamontage, okay, I guess, is their new Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen wins the league MVP. No awards here for the New Orleans Saints, but let's see what we got for the team upgrades. I really, really hate to see Derek Carr lose like this because he was doing so good for us, but he's just not cutting it. Traquan Smith gets started. Out. That's no surprise. He's doing really good. Trey Turner is here. I guess he's playing right guard as well. Anthony Barr has regressed into nothing. Big Speed has superstar. That's awesome to see for our defensive line. Richard has star. That's fine fine with me. Roby, I'm probably going to need to cut Bradley Roby if his contract is not done. So many aging players, so many holes to fix, but let's move into the resignings. In the NFC South, Adam Thielen retires on the Carolina Panthers, but we're going to see what we have for the re-signings. We have $102 million, so it was huge to cut those players in the first year. Traquan Smith had a really good year. I can't just not re-sign him. I'm going to give him one year and then increase his money. He re-signs. It's just he's old. I don't want him for a long time, but he had, he had, he had an amazing year with us. Over 100 receptions, 1,500 yards, 15 touchdowns is amazing, but let's see what we got in free agency. And here we are after free agency getting Jerry Judy as our new wide receiver to Xavier McKinning, who doesn't like being a strong safety. He had a high interest as a free safety, but I moved him to strong safety. Tommy Townsend as a punter. Jordan Brooks as our new middle linebacker because Demario Davis has regressed pretty hard and Noah Fant as a tight end. So we had a really good free agency, but now I really need a QB. So let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking, an, picking up Mitch Childress out of UTSA. I don't even know what that is. I picked him because of his elite arm. 99 throw power is stupid for a rookie. Normal dev, I don't care. He had D awareness, I don't care. A throw under pressure, A break sack. He's very good in the pocket, evidently. Six foot five, 227, 99 throw power is dummy. He's gonna be the quarterback of the future over Derek Carr. And with that being said, Derek Carr had a very, very good back-to-back -back season with us. Not like extremely good, but definitely solid enough to where he can be a starter on another team. So I'm trading away to the Atlanta Falcons for a second round pick. Very good pass rating, very good at touchdown to interception ratio. But to be honest, I can't use him anymore. I just drafted my new quarterback, so he's off to the Falcons. And with my second round pick, I'm picking up another defensive tackle to stack out my defensive line because that is huge for Madden simulation in terms of defensive rushing game. George Allen out of Wisconsin, six foot one, almost 300 pounds, 92 strength is great for a rookie. Hidden development, B power moves, B finesse moves. He looks solid. Here we are after the draft. Childress is a 69 overall. Nice. Not really. I knew his overall was going to be low because awareness was a D. His awareness is a 60, which is really what's holding his overall down. But at the same time, he has 99 throw power as a rookie, which is, it's dummy. We got Josh Allen as a quarterback and Josh Allen wasn't very good his first year. So hopefully he develops. He's got a very nice receiving core with Chris Olave, Jerry Judy, Noah Fance, great offensive line, good running back. He has all the pieces he needs to succeed here. Allen is a 73 overall. Jordan Brooks is already higher overall than Demario Davis. Yeah, Anthony Barr, I don't know how much longer he's gonna be here. Bradley Roby, I'm gonna cut. Like this dude, he's probably taking up a bunch of money. I don't want him here. He's not that good anymore. Get off my team. <laughs> it's that simple. But hopefully our new QB can be good enough to get us into the playoffs is what I'm hoping. We are an 84 overall. Let's see how we do at the midseason mark. Now, this is the team at the midseason mark. We are two and four. Wow, our team ranks are very good other than our rushing ranks. So I guess they're just letting our quarterback air it out. How are we two and four with this good of team ranks? Our passing game is six. I guess it's always a good passing game. Then we get to the playoffs and it's garbage. But let's see what we got for the scouting national focus. I think I might want to do just linebacker because 
yeah, Demario Davis is getting old. He's probably going to retire. Cam Jordan might retire too. But Isaiah folkski has been doing good for us. Hopefully he is playing his rush defensive end. I'm sure Peyton Turner is starting over him like the AI always gives it. But Kareem Hunt, I want back for the rest of the rebuild. We only got one more year left anyways. Marcus May can walk. I have Xavier McKinney. I honestly should have cut him before. Pete Warner, I do need you because we are losing a lot of my linebackers. So I need you to resign. He does. Demario Davis, I would like you to resign. Another year would be fine. You'd be fine as depth, but you're a second string right now. Dracon Smith, it depends how you do. Paulson Adebo is not bad depth. He's cheap, even if I give him a player-friendly contract. So he's going to re-sign with us. Trey Turner, I can just draft someone better. It's not really that big of a deal. But anyways, it's now time to move in to the playoffs and hopefully make them... Here we are in the playoffs coming off a huge win to the Panthers as we are 11 and 6 top of the division. Wow. Okay. Huge comeback on the season. First time making the playoffs and it's without Derek Carr. So I think I know the problem. Dude, for a rookie, that's a baller season. That's got to be top 10 for MVP unless he had a ridiculous amount of interceptions. Yeah. Well, he's 10th for MVP. So probably had a lot of interceptions. He's already 74 overall. 10th best offense in the NFL. That's good. We're finally top 10 there and the best defense in the NFL. Yeah, he hit 16 interceptions. It's like a Josh Allen type of deal. But at the same time, 106 pass rating, 39 touchdowns, 5,000 yards. Yeah, he's already better. He's wearing Derek Carr's number two. Kareem Hunt, 11 touchdowns, 4.5 per carry, 1,100 yards. Then looking at it receiving wise, Chris Olave, 110 receptions, 1,500 yards, eight touchdowns. Traquan Smith, I'm going to resign. 12 touchdowns, 1,200 yards is great. Jerry Judy, 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. No offense with five touchdowns defensively. Marcus May, 104 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for Brian Brzee, sacks. 13 and a half for Brian Brzee is great. And uh, Joseph Bigsby with eight and a half. Peyton Turner with seven and a half. I don't want Peyton Turner rushing off the edge, dude. I kind of want to cut him. Three interceptions for Marshawn Lattimore. Safety, zero defensive touchdowns, zero. Peyton Turner's not bad, but he's not Isaiah Folkski, and he's annoying me how he's playing rush right end. Can we beat the Detroit Lions to get our first playoff win of the rebuild after losing Derek Carr? And we do. 42 to 35 here to face the 9 and 8 Seattle Seahawks. We're in 85 overall. It's going to be a very close game. We could win or lose this. I don't know if Geno Smith is still their quarterback. And we beat them. 38 to 21 here to face the 13 and 4 New York Giants. We're both an 85 overall team. So I don't know how this is going to play out, but hopefully in our favor. So let's move into it. Here we are against the New York Giants as they start out 7-0. We are not going to strike back. We're apparently going to turn over the ball as they're going to beat us down here. Yeah, they're blowing us out. Okay. 7-21. to Our top, our number one defense obviously isn't showing it. 14-21 at halftime. A little bit of a comeback there, but not really enough, I don't think. 17-24, to 17-27. They keep making it a two-score game. Yeah, that's going to be it. We're not going to be able to come back from this. Uh, yeah, 37-27. Unfortunate conference championship loss. We have a rookie quarterback. I don't know what you expect, but still, he had a great game. Three touchdowns, almost 400 yards. So I, I guess our defense allowing 37 points is just unacceptable. And the Chiefs absolutely humiliate the Giants in the Super Bowl. 45-7. to Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen wins the back-to-back -back league MVPs. And anything else here? Mitch Childress wins the Rookie of the Year. Hopefully, as Superstar Dev, I see a lot of rookie QBs go from normal to Superstar. He just goes up to star. That's fine. He goes from a 69 to a 77 if we include the skill points. Traquan Smith, I want to re-sign. Defensively, Pete Warner is going to be there. Anthony Barr is just regressed into oblivion. Allen also has Superstar Dev. That's sick. Brian Brzee had 13 and a half sacks and he's been always had double digit sacks since his rookie season. I'm giving him superstar dev. If you want to cry about it, I don't care. The dude, he had, now we have three superstar defensive linemen. Hopefully Cam Jordan doesn't retire. It would be nice to have him for a final season. Peyton Turner, I'm going to cut you. I, I, I know you had a seven and a half sacks. That's not a bad season. I want Isaiah Folkski to be playing his position without someone holding him back because he did have 10 and a half sacks the first year he was playing there. Marcus May has superstar dev now. Since he does have superstar dev, I might want to re-sign him and move him to outside linebacker. I think I might do that. So anyways, let's move into the re-signings. In the NFC South, Demario Davis does retire. That's fine. As long as Cam Jordan doesn't retire, I would still like to have an X-Factor defensive end, even if he is old. But Marcus May, I am going to re-sign here. Hopefully he just takes that. He does. I'm going to move him to right outside linebacker too. Traquan Smith, I'll just have him sign this and increase the bonus. He's been very good for us. Uh, Trey Turner, I can find someone better. Everyone else here, I'm not interested in. We have $103 million to spend in free agency, so I'm going to see if we can find a stud there. After free agency, I picked up Travis Etienne just to have a one-two punch at halfback. We have a lot of money, so I can definitely afford him. Quinn Merez or Min Minerez, my bad. I'm just terrible at pronouncing names. He's going to be our left guard. Jerome Baker as a depth linebacker to replace uh, Demario Davis. So let's move into the draft. 
In the first round, I'm picking up defensive back Lonnie Meadows out of Fresno State. We don't really need anything, so depth at defensive back would be nice. Six foot two, 191, hidden development, B awareness, B press. Everything looks good. We just need our team to develop, but unfortunately, it's the final year, so I can't really count on that. In the second round, I'm picking up six foot five, 224 pound Florida wide receiver George Guerrero. Hidden development, 89 speed, 87 acceleration, A catching, B catching traffic, B release, B spec catch. He looks pretty good. Unfortunately, four, fourth string wide receivers don't really do anything in Madden. I don't need anything else. I'm just trying to pick good players for the end of the season. So this is the team going into the fourth and final season. Yes, our quarterback is only a 74 overall. We're an 86 overall team, which isn't bad considering our starting cap situation, and we were late to the jump on getting a quarterback. Guerrero is a 74 overall. That's nice to see. Honestly, like literally, it's almost a full star team other than Ryan Ramchek on our offense. Defensively, though, superstar D-line here. The AI, did they seriously cut? No way. Did they cut Cam Jordan? Or did he just randomly retire in preseason? He might have just randomly retired in preseason. That's really annoying. Either do it before, bro, or just don't do it at all. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with that now. And why is Isaiah Folkski not at playing defensive end? I hate the AI so much. It makes me want to punch them in the throat. Oh, my God. It makes me want to reach through the screen and somehow punch the AI in the throat. Yeah, I know that makes no sense. I don't care. Oh, I'm going to have to do it myself. <laughs> I hate the game so much on so many different levels. Oh, well, in Madden 24, it's going to say you, you it, the AI won't adjust your depth chart. It won't matter. They will at the beginning of the year. Who is the left end that I had? Yeah, Parker. This guy, why is he not the rush right end? He's a higher overall, and he's star dev, and he's the starter in general. And Isaiah Folkski's, oh my god, the AI is mentally retarded. Anyways, hopefully the AI doesn't sell us. Fourth and final year, hopefully we can make the playoffs or do something. Let's move into it. Here we are in the playoffs going 14 and three, top of the division above the 13 and four Carolina Panthers. Our offensive passing game is first in the NFL. Rushing game is 15th. Our quarterback must be balling. Stats and awards, he, he is most definitely balling. That's gotta be league MVP. Really must have a lot of interceptions. Third for a league MVP, best offense in the NFL, most passing touchdowns, most passing yards, 111 passer rating, ninth best defense. It's the interception still. Amazing year for him, 46 touchdowns, 5,300 yards, uh, 1,100 passer rating, not 1,100, 111 pass rating, my bad, and Travis Etienne, 11 touchdowns, 4.5 per carry, 1,200 passing yards, Jerry Judy, 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns, Traquan Smith continuing to dominate, 14 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, Chris Olave still never hit double-digit touchdowns throughout this entire rebuild, which is a bit disappointing, but still, 8 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, still a great season. Defensively, Marcus May, 127 tackles. He was a good move down to linebacker. 14 tackles for a loss for Parker Richard. Sacks, 15 for Brian Brzee. 10.5 for Isaiah Folkski. That's why I wanted him to play there. Jo Joseph Bigsby with only 4.5. Six interceptions for Marshawn Lattimore. That may be an X factor. Zero safeties and zero defensive touchdowns. We currently don't have an X factor on our team, but we'll probably get one with Marshawn Lattimore. Or we're going to be playing the divisional round. I'm not going to be hopping into it. It is going to be the 11 and 6 Washington Commanders. I was hoping it wasn't going to be the Panthers because they look pretty good as well but okay sure that's <laughs> that's gonna be the end of the rebuild our ninth best ranked offense scores seven points with our third for league mvp quarterback okay sure sure yeah let's just let's just go with that <laughs> God, I hate this game. Last year, our defense was the problem in the conference championship. This year, our offense only scores seven points in the divisional round. As Alvin Kamara once again loses another Super Bowl with the Buffalo Bills. He might not even be on there anymore. This time, Jalen Hurts wins the league MVP. No awards here for the Saints. And Jalen Hurts wins the Super Bowl MVP. Stupid, stupid way to end the rebuild. We got league MVP, well, third for league MVP with Childress, so he does get superstar dev. Jerry Judy gets superstar dev. Traquan Smith gets superstar dev as well. I may want to do a fifth year. Marshawn Lattimore gets X back. I'm going to do a fifth year. I have the money. I'm going to do a fifth year on this. So apart from that, let's move in into the re-signings. In the NFC South, Jake Matthews and Ryan Jensen both retire, so that's good for us and especially for the overall of the other teams. $113 million to spend. Chris Olave, we need to give him his contract. I'm just going to give him very player-friendly. We have the money to do it. Tyron Matthew, I'm going to need you for another year. I'll just put two years on there. This is going to be the fifth and final year. Trevor Penning, I need you back as my franchise left tackle. He wants to hit free agency. I'll just tag him. Folks, Ski doesn't want to be here. I'll just give him big money and he wants to play for a different team. 
<sighs> Alante Taylor is not bad depth, but I don't need you anymore if I'm being honest. So we're going to tag Trevor Penning. And then we're going to snag Isaiah Folkski in free agency, hopefully. $64 million to spend. Let me go get him real quick. After free agency, I got Kayvon Thibodeau and Isaiah Folkski back. Getting Kayvon Thibodeau is huge for our defensive line. Our team is a lot better now. We're in 88 overall. Let's move into the draft. Once again, our team really just doesn't need anything. So I'm picking up a middle linebacker here, or I'm probably going to move to outside linebacker out of USC. Alex Johnson, 6'2", 225, 90 speed, 89 acceleration, hidden dev, very good athlete. Bees across the board, block shedding man coverage and zone coverage. He looks like a great field general and pass archetype linebacker for us. Now, this is the team going into the fifth and final season. Childress went from a 69 normal dev to a 78 superstar dev to almost winning league MVP. The team looks very, very, very good. And how much was my... This outside linebacker is a 73 overall. He's probably going to move to a 75, 74 whenever I move him to left outside linebacker just as depth. The team is already so stacked. It just needs... If the quarterback was developed more, which I really should have gotten an early start on, I should have honestly replaced off the rip. Oh, it looks like the AI picked up this guy named Garland. Off the rip, I honestly think I should have probably drafted a quarterback to replace... Derek Carr, because I knew I was going to do it eventually, but Garland, I'm going to move to right outside linebacker. Hopefully, he can increase, increase his dev there and be a better outside linebacker. Uh, he just moves down the depth chart. Never mind. So, that sucks to be him. I did not mean to click on Jamichael Autry, but this is going to be the team going into the final year. Please, why is... Ugh, put Folkski! Put Folkski on the outside, bro. I'm going to punch someone. Why, does, why is the AI mentally retarded 90% of the time? Oh, it's an AI. It's artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's supposed to be smarter. It does all my homework. It, it gives me chat GTP. And it doesn't know that Isaiah Folkski is a 75 overall rush defensive end. And he's better than everyone. He's giving me double digit sacks every time he started there. But anyways, let's move in to the fifth and final season and the playoffs. And here we are, 15-2, and two, top of the division with a 91 overall team just to lose in the divisional, most likely. Coming off a weekly award for one of the players. Very good season for Mitch Childress. Hopefully his interceptions are down. Obviously not, considering he's seventh for MVP. Third best offense in the NFL, 102 pass rating. Still a great season, not as good as the previous season, though. Third best defense, 19 interceptions, broski. We gotta find a way to fix this for you. 102 pass rating, 39 touchdowns. 5,200 yards, Travis Etienne with 1,300 yards, 4.3 per carry, and 15 touchdowns. Guess the AI cut Kareem Hunt. I didn't. Thanks, AI. <laughs> Chris Olave, 116 receptions, 1,600 yards, 10 touchdowns. That's definitely superstar dev. Jerry Judy, 11 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Trey Quinn Smith, 1,000 yards, 9 touchdowns. Defensively, Jordan Brooks, 120 touchdowns. Not 100, yeah, 120 tackles, not 120 touchdowns. God, I'm retarded today. 19 tackles for our loss for Brian Brzee. Sacks 22 for Kayvon Thibodeau is amazing. 12 for Joseph Bigsby. 10 for Brian Brzee. Isaiah Folkski with seven uh, sacks as well. Four, five interceptions for Jermichael Autry. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what we got in the divisional round. That's literally what I'm most scared about. I don't ever play in the divisional round. I don't plan to here either. Eight and nine Seattle Seahawks were five overalls higher. Come on. Third best offense, third best defense. We beat them 39 to 20 here to face the 10 and 7 Carolina Panthers in the conference championship to potentially move on to the Super Bowl. Here we are against the division rivals, the Carolina Panthers, who are 10 and 7. We get home field advantage as we start out 10 0 against the Panthers. They're going to strike with 7, now 14, as they automatically take the lead. 17 to 14, 17 17 at halftime. Well, 20 to 17 at halftime as it is, come on, 23 to 17. Nice stuff. Good stuff. 26-17. Hold on. 29-17. Field goal putting in work. Will Lutz is going to take us to the Super Bowl with all those field goals as we are going to win 24-29 against the Carolina Panthers to finally make it to the Super Bowl. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 12-5 Kansas City Chiefs. They're in 92 overall. This is the one team I would not want to face, really, in the AFC. Childress does not get an X-Factor. Chris Olave does get Superstar, though. I mean, with 19 interceptions, I'm not going to give him X-Factor. Brian Brzee gets an X-Factor. Kayvon Thibodeau gets 22 sacks, and you're like, nah, the best we can do is star development. Realistically, he would go up to X-Factor for getting 22 sacks in a season, go from star to X-Factor, but I'm just going to give him Superstar move up one. Tyron Matthew gets X-Factor. Johnson, Alex Johnson has star dev. That's fine. We have a 91 overall team. This is the one team I didn't want to face, but of course, we're going to have to face the Kansas City Chiefs to win this Super Bowl and cap off this rebuild with a win. 
Here we are against the Kansas City Chiefs. They're going to start out with nothing, but we're going to start out with seven here. Good start. Come on. Third best defense, third best offense. 7-14 seven, seven here. 7-17. Seven, 7-24 seven, at halftime. Great first half. 27-7. Dude. The defense is holding on like crazy, and the offense keeps putting up points nonstop on every drive. It's a blowout. Humiliation. 20-40 to 40 against the Kansas City Chiefs as we are going to win the Super Bowl. And also, I want to mention that the Chiefs drafted the best tight end in all time. Well, did they draft Travis Kelsey? I'm pretty sure they, they did. But they also have who this guy. George Rankin. I'll show you after. He has an X factor. They drafted two generational tight ends just back to back, but I'll show you this after. And Mitch Childress wins the Super Bowl MVP. Dennis Allen wins the coach of the year, even though the Chiefs were also 15 and 2. Kayvon Thibodeau wins defensive player of the year, and the AI was like, nah, the best we can do is star dev. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we got here. I want to see that tight end on the Chiefs that I was talking about earlier. I find it ridiculous that the Chiefs get arguably the best tight end of all time in Travis Kelsey, and then they draft this guy. As soon as they as soon as they get rid of Travis Kelsey, they get George Rankin out of Michigan State, another generational tight end, just with ease, you know, it's just a normal thing for the Chiefs, which I find crazy. But thankfully this was a successful reboot. I'm glad I did a fifth year. This is the team. Unfortunately, we cut Kareem Hunt as he does not get a ring, which I really wanted him to. But Miller does. He's been along for the ride. Kendra Miller the entire time. We cut Jamal Williams as well. The AI did. But team looks great. Really happy with the rebuild. Make sure you like and or subscribe. And apart from that, guys, thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys all in the next one.